Hey, it's Jared. I've had some issues with my AirPods Pro 3, and I'm here to share with you what those issues were and how to fix them. Now, I've had issues at some point with every pair of AirPods Pro that I've had, the first, second, and now the third generation. I even made a video a while back about low volume issue with the AirPods Pro 1, and a lot of people had that issue. That video was pretty popular and it solved problems for a lot of people. And so now I've experienced some other issues with the AirPods Pro 3. So I'm here making another video sharing what those issues were and how I was able to fix it. Let's first talk about the issues that I experienced. Now, when I first got my AirPods Pro 3, I charged them up and immediately had great battery life and everything was working perfect. But then after the first iPhone software update, it seemed like the battery life was just not as good with my AirPods Pro 3 as they were before. That was the first issue that I experienced. The second issue that I had was the same problem that I had with my first generation AirPods Pro, which is low volume. After a software update on the iPhone, or at least that's what I think that it was, I wouldn't get the audio levels out of my AirPods that I thought that I would get before. Now, I wasn't paying attention to what whether or not the AirPods Pro themselves got a software update, but uh, something happened there and I was getting lower volume than I did before. The third issue, which is the biggest one, is the most recent issue that I experienced, and that is that my AirPods Pro 3 were disconnecting from other devices and going back to my iPhone, even when the iPhone screen wasn't on. I might be watching a YouTube video or listening to music on my iPad, and it would disconnect and connect to the iPhone. I might be listening to music on my Apple Watch or working on something on my Mac, and it would disconnect from that and reconnect to the iPhone. It was super annoying and I could not figure out what the problem is. So there's a handful of ways that you can troubleshoot everything and I'll talk about those troubleshooting options and which of these options fixed the different problems that I've experienced so far. Thankfully, I've been about a week and a half without a problem so far, but knowing how to fix these problems means not being frustrated for a long period of time, getting the fix done and going back on with your life, enjoying your AirPods 3. So number one is the fix that worked back with my AirPods Pro 1, and even when I had some problems with my AirPods Pro 2, which is to reset the pairing on the AirPods Pro. Now, if you've had AirPods Pro in the past, you might notice that there's no button. Even though I have a case, I've got this ESR case, and if you're interested in cases, I made a case review video where I reviewed a whole bunch of different cases for the AirPods Pro 3. I'll link to that down below. But there's no physical button on the AirPods Pro 3 like there was before. So I'm gonna show you how you reconnect your AirPods to your iPhone. So since there's no button on the AirPods Pro 3, you simply open them up and double tap on the AirPods Pro, and you will see that it puts it into pairing mode and it will reconnect to your iPhone. So you might need to actually disconnect them from your iPhone in order for this to happen. So you can go into your settings app. So we'll do a search for settings. We'll go to Bluetooth and you see I've got my AirPods Pro right here. I can click here, go down to the bottom, all the way down to the bottom and hit forget this device and then forget and it will remove them from my device altogether. Now then when I open the AirPods, it says not your AirPods Pro, I can triple tap on the AirPods to put it into pairing mode and hit connect. And as you can see, it's going through the process of setting them up again. I'll just go ahead and bypass some of these settings. And then the AirPods are connected and reconnected to find my, and it only took a couple of seconds to do that. Super simple, and that solves a lot of the problems. And simply disconnecting and reconnecting my AirPods like I just did, solved the problem with the low volume. It actually solved the problem with the battery charging issue as well. But when I had the most recent problem that had to do with the AirPods disconnecting from other devices and reconnecting to my iPhone, I went and looked to see if there was a software update. Now you can go into your settings app and go into Bluetooth again, and then tap on the little eye for information and open up your AirPods so that it connects. And you should be able to see the version number of your AirPods. This is the software version and case version. 
And I, I didn't know what the latest version was. So I simply just went and did a Google search for it, found out that I was on the latest version. Now, software updates for AirPods are gonna happen automatically in the background. Like if you have a software update for your phone, also attached to that might be some sort of a software update for AirPods. I've never in all the years that I've had different AirPods Pro seen a software update notice for the AirPods Pro, but I do know that there have been software updates. So you might just check to see if there's a software update for your AirPods Pro, look at the version number, go and do a Google search for it, and see if anything shows that that's an older version of the software update. If that is the case, simply going through that repairing process that I showed you just a little bit earlier will reset everything, and then when the AirPods reconnect to your device, it will check to see if there's a software update, and then it will push that software update through. Now, the next thing that I tried was actually disconnecting my AirPods from all of the other devices. I thought, well, if my AirPods are struggling to stay connected to my other devices, then maybe I just need to unpair them and then let them reconnect to those other devices. So I did that. Troubleshooting, going through the process, that absolutely did not work. But it can solve other problems. For example, unpairing them from my iPhone fixed earlier problems. If I was having a specific problem with my iPad, I might consider unpairing them from my iPad or my Mac or my Apple Watch, whatever device you're having a problem with, try going into the settings, Bluetooth settings, clicking forget the device, and then reconnect it to see if that solves the problem. Now, the solve for the issue of it disconnecting from other devices and reconnecting to my iPhone was actually simply restarting my iPhone. I turned my iPhone off and on after having tried everything else. I don't know why the last thing that came to my mind was to turn the iPhone off and on. I simply did that to turn your iPhone off, swipe down, tap and hold on the little icon here in the top right hand corner, and then slide to power off. After a few seconds, your iPhone screen will go completely dark. You can then turn your iPhone back on by pressing and holding down the lock button on the right hand side. Once it powers back up, everything will reconnect and you can try it again. And that's exactly what I did. I tried connecting my AirPods to another device and the iPhone no longer took over and took my AirPods away from being connected to the other device. So sometimes it is as simple as turning your iPhone off and back on again. Just to recap, I would actually move turn your phone off and on again up to the top of the list because it's the most simple thing to do is just power cycle your phone, turn it off, wait a couple seconds, turn it back on, see if it solves the problem. If it didn't solve the problem, then you can go and disconnect and reconnect the AirPods to your main device, which is gonna be your iPhone. If you don't have an iPhone and you're using your AirPods primarily with another device like a Mac, an iPad, or even an Apple Watch, make sure to disconnect it from those devices as well and then go through the pairing process again. As you saw, it's a really simple, fast process to reset it up. And finally, if that doesn't work, make sure that your AirPods are running the latest software update. If you recently had a software update on your primary device like your iPhone and the software update hasn't yet been pushed to the AirPods Pro, there could be some sort of an issue there where something about the software was updated for the connection to AirPods, but the AirPods had not yet received their software update. So you wanna make sure that you go and put your AirPods on a charger next to your phone so that the AirPods in charging mode and the phone knowing that your AirPods are in charging mode will then allow for the software update to go through. You'll know that the software update went through because when you go and look at the settings, just as we did earlier, you'll see a different version number there than what was listed before. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that it helped you solve a problem that you were having with your AirPods. If it did, let me know down in the comment section below.